basically started the blind. You, it's whatever. Edit it. Yeah, I can just edit you the beginning. You can always edit it, and like, like we're gonna like this blunt, and then you, like you cut it, and then go to a different clip. I, I'm just gonna explain, y'all. I'm, well, you already explained it. We already explained it. So this <laughs> is gonna be the beginning before anything happens. So just no. <laughs> On that note, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, you already know what it is, and it's Gabby. Period. So, today is gonna be a smoke with us. We got a blunt, and we're just gonna get into some things. Like, that's all you gotta know. We're gonna get into some things. Pretty well, you're real deep with it, you know, real cause spiritual. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. We're gonna say our opinions, what we think, and just some insight that was going on. Period. And hear us out too. Don't unsubscribe or anything. Ooh. Right, right, right. Share your own opinion, you know what I'm saying? It's not even just what we say. I want to hear what you want to say, too, because at the end of the day, we're all going through it, so we all should share how we feel. Like, Period. And that's that. <laughs> all right, we're going to get into the first topic. I'm going to spark the slide. Yeah, spark the first topic is my favorite topic. Like, okay. Are you going to say it? Yeah, I thought <laughs> you was the host of Minosis. I was like... <laughs> Give it back to my boy Jahan. <laughs> We're gonna get into the Travis Scott concert. So my preference on the concert. Well, what happened? We're gonna say what happened first. So the first thing that I found really weird was the setup. Like it was dark and it was like see you on the other side. Like that's just very like mm -hmm. see me where. And then like. It was like rings, like ring at the ring at the ring at the ring. It was like an entrance. Like that just looks so scary. And like, I don't know. It looked very, and like I just heard that the, the, there's eight flames, and that's like the um eighth. I don't know if it's the eighth. Oh god, I think we went into like the eighth zodiac. Scorpio, Scorpio. That's the eighth something. I don't know what it is. Sorry, y'all. Yes, uh, and Taurus too. Somebody said that too. It was like. Taurus and Scorpios together or something like that. Right. So, yeah, like, there's a lot of symbolic things there. And, like, he kept going. That's the weird part. How are you going to, like, have people die at your own concert? And you're not even stopping. Like, you just keep performing. Like, people even got on stage, try to get on stage, try to stop the concert, and they were not listening, listening to them. So, like... <laughs> but... Like, stop and then go. Stop and then go. Ooh. I we had this one. Do that. I don't know. It was like, that was the topic. <laughs> Travis Scott, it was just giving, I'm just going to say what it, it was giving ritual. Yeah. And like you said, the way they had to separate like a whole nother world, they had the animosity so big. Like people were coming in yeah. hordes. Like mm -hmm. they were bulldozing towards him. Y'all, I don't got audio, but look at this shit. This shit is ridiculous. Like, all I see is must, low vibration, and ass, and trauma. This shit is ridiculous. No. Like crowds, I saw that picking up fences. Like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> but they were picking themselves up from the down, like just to hear, yeah. <laughs> he was talking for a minute, like just I don't know, like a stick figure singing. Yeah. Like I don't know, it was giving me very weird vibes, and people couldn't even breathe. Like, how do you not breathe at a concert? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's so packed everybody's so smushed and there's people stepping over people not even caring i know there's like um mosh pits and stuff but like that one was out of hand it's a little loud, a little like loud. definitely out of hand yes i feel and i'm a um i got this from um t ashley and make sure i give her, her credit but SZA even knew because SZA came, did what she had to do, and she bounced. Really? She was gone, yeah. SZA I bounced. didn't know that. Let's start off with SZA, okay? Because I got back that SZA did not want to attend the Astro World um, Festival, okay? But because she got paid, she decided to attend. Okay, she had gotten bad vibes, and that's why she did not want to go to the festival. But she has a good relationship with Travis Scott. Now, luckily, nothing happened during her set, but I did hear that she's not really too happy with Travis because now she feels like she has to speak out um, in regards to this incident. And if she does future um, interviews, people are probably going to ask her about it. They're probably going to ask everybody who attended, um, you know, the concert and the. Then you see how. Um um t actually said this i'm gonna add the clip champagne thinkums um drake he didn't say anything about it but all the other artists said something about it he didn't say anything and what i did notice though your favorite rapper champagne thickums he hasn't said anything SZA, Roddy Rich has spoken out. Um, I even see influencers, social media influencers speaking out. So that should tell you a lot about Champagne Thickums, but we'll get to him. Um, let me know what you think about uh, SZA though. Uh, Champagne Thickums, he's awfully quiet while, you know, he said that Houston was his second home. Why hasn't he spoken out in regards to this incident? He was at the concert too, okay? Roddy Rich spoke out. Where is Champagne Thickums? See, and then people always say I be going hard on uh, Drake, but he just does little stuff that just irritates me, okay? You were at the event. You profit off the event, okay? You talking about... Oh, you want an NBA team. You want this and that. Why don't you speak out on your second home and the victims that have passed away at the concert you performed at? That doesn't make any sense to me. And this is why I do not like champagne thickums. Okay, I don't care how many um, ab surgeries he gets. He's still a lame to me. He was performing with Travis. He came out like everybody else. I think he should talk. Okay, at least send out your condolences. Like you haven't done anything. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day. Drake made this post on, it's November 8th, nighttime. He made this post. Um, I guess, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. But he said something. But the reason why, because he oh, so allegedly, he just sacrificed, allegedly, allegedly, he sacrificed his producer. Yeah, his producer that he worked with for years recently died, never talked about it. Since we talking about sacrifices, I feel like Dirt sacrifice Vaughn. Let's start there. Alleged, we, we know but, allegedly, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, we talking about sacrifices. I feel like this industry is based on sacrifices, and mm -hmm. the only way to really make it is to sacrifice. So, and if you say real to yourself and true to yourself and your morals, and just get get and light light it, enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? Or tch, sacrifice, give blood, or something, because you're not gonna get anything for free. Yeah, nothing. You always have to pay for something. Yeah. Always. Even if you have talent, like even if you bring talent, you know what I'm saying? They're always gonna change you and mold you into what they want to be and what they want you to put out there. So you can have some good and encouraging music, but once they hear it, like they're gonna flip that and make you want to say like other stuff. You know what I'm saying? To like influence the younger generation. So yeah, because always it's always about the next generation, always. Definitely. So, and it's just crazy. Like I don't know, it's crazy. It's kind of like I don't know. I wasn't even there, and I feel like, damn, like. Imagine what they was going through. 
people scared, people crying, people just passing out, people like turning blue. Like, imagine a dead body next to you in a concert. Like, that's so weird. People just dropping around you. Like, what do you do? I'm praying. Yeah. I'm praying. I'm praying and I'm getting out of there. Like, I don't care what I gotta do. Jaha always carried me, so we Mason. <laughs> right. We getting through traffic. Like, we not playing. Excuse me, boo boo. I got to go. I don't even know. I don't. I personally don't even go to concerts like that. Do you? Like, I've been to one. Never been to one. Camp Rock in like the PNC Center. That was lit. You know, freak out, freak out, yeah, all that. Like. <laughs> 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 this video, this one is about to drop out the window. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you guys, enough with Travis Scott. We're gonna get into something else. Oh, yeah, what's been going on around here? I'm, mm. oh, we, I gotta, let's oh, get into oh, it. Now, we gotta <laughs> just say the facts first, take the news, then we're gonna get into what we know. And I'm gonna let you start first. Okay, so apparently, okay, let's start with we just recently were working together, Canvassing. Knocking on doors, door to door, asking people if they're gonna vote, and we're doing every street in this and in my town. She was one of them. That house was one of them. Like you know, I don't know who did it. Like you know, it's like Mad House who did every house like over a thousand houses. So of course I'm gonna remember like who exactly did it. But we went down that street. Like it's just so scary to know that if we knocked and that boy shot us, like thinking that we was the cops. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Like you just never know the chances. That's just really frightening to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, your life could have been took at that moment. Like, you just never know. Just by knocking on somebody's door, so. Yeah, because I remember I put inaccessible. Because I remember I went there, and, you know, it's across the train tracks. And I was like, mm -mm, I don't mess with this place. It's just weird. Like, it's always been weird. i never seen. We all, you know, you always going to see. I walk around these streets for years. All the shortcuts, all the streets. I know people that live in their houses. So, I've right. never seen these people come out. I'm not knocking on your door. Right. Because I don't, we don't put it like that. Like, I, right. I, and I'm glad I did it because I was like, what street it was? And the whole time I was thinking it was fifth because when me and um, Illy was smoking, we seen them all on fifth. They wasn't even on like the street it was actually on. So I'm thinking, okay, it's on fifth. But then when I seen like the pictures, I was like, oh, it was right. there. I'm like, that, yeah. that makes some sense. Right, I was right there. But apparently a guy committed murder and the cop had come to the house to uh so word for his arrest i'm sorry y'all i'm telling you ski so you know i got i know what i'm talking about but like right. sometimes you need a little help when you ski okay so warrant for your arrest and apparently he shot him through the door two times i believe right two yeah. times one in his foot but like i heard like one in like some some other place but down below like nothing up high yeah it was something like one or two but they, yeah, so he did that. Then he held his wife and his kid hostage. Then he let the wife go, kept the child. Like, why would you keep your child? Like, come on. Like, I know you did your wrongs, but don't bring your child into this. Like, come on. I don't know. It's too young. It's a baby. Like, I don't know if it's a baby. I think so. I don't know what it was. I don't know how old the child baby. was, but I think it's a baby. But, you know, you just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Family comes first always. And, like, do your wrongs by yourself. You know what I'm saying? He let the baby go. I think... He shot himself and burned the house down. I don't know how it went from that. Like, I feel like he burned the house down first, like, started catching on fire, and then... No one knows the story yet, that last part, you know what I'm saying? This is all, like, putting information together that we've seen and, like, trying to figure it out with them. Like, what the heck? Like, this is crazy. So, yeah, he shot himself and burnt that house down, and it was, like, a three... It wasn't even like, a house. It was, like, a three-family. So he burnt, like, two other people's houses down with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You took other people's homes and not just your own. You know what I'm saying? So that's tough that's tough i'm sorry for the family like i'm sorry for everything that are lost and all that like you know what i'm saying and to have like be scarred and have trauma from that that's real hard like my condolences but like i'm just saying like he ain't had to bring his family into it like that how you feel it was just so much going on like last yesterday that same night where all this was going down like the travis was going down over here and during that night too like they was fighting on my street like around my street or fighting on my street and they were going in like they weren't even just fighting like they was fighting to kill like going for the eyes right like everything like they was really fighting they was thieving like they was really thieving right I'm like dang like they really going off and dang that's what talking about that like even at the travis scott concert like they were fighting too like, there's people in there fighting like 
full blown fighting, like fighting to kill, like type junk. Like it's like crazy. Like everybody's going. It's not even just. My point is that it's not even just in the concert. It's all around the world. Yeah, it's everywhere. Like negativity is really everywhere. Like another example that another topic I'd to speak on is the Franklin Lake. How a car was in the middle of Franklin Lake. No one knows how it got there yet, but they said that he was on a run or something. I don't know. Like it's just so much craziness, and his car was in the middle of the lake, like a lake that's in. So it's like five minutes away. Not even five minutes away. Two minutes, literally. Okay. They basically connected. So, yeah, it's just a lot of negativity going around. And I don't know. We just need like a Musa, yin yang. You know, we got to balance the good and the bad because if we keep letting the evil win, it's going to consume all of us. We just going to make this world hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we got to do our best just to make it heaven. Like, while we can and with the people that we have. I don't know. Like, just stay away from things that you know aren't good for you. And things that you know that have a bad influence on you, no matter if it's music, no matter if it's t the things you watch, no matter if it's like the littlest things, like just know that like everything has an impact on you. And also too, like just a couple houses down, somebody else got arrested. Um, another house was burning last night. Right. Down the street from um, Camille's house. So many things happening. Yeah. But on the good note, J Bug, you my bup, you my puppy, you my puppy. Get my puppy. He's sleeping. I want to put him in the video. Get my puppy. The whole oh. boat arrival. Oh. Damn. Come here, Papa. Oh, you are so cute. Papa. So this, it went through a lot of abuse. What? This one. It went through a lot. Mm -hmm. The beginning before anything happens. So just know. <laughs> Oh, dang, I forgot. I'm over here eating candy. This is my new puppy. His name is Macho Pancho Sanchez. He's Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. He's about 20 pounds right now. He's an American bully with papers. And he's the most adorable thing in the world. And I'm so happy I got him. That's the positive thing, you know? You gotta keep the video positive. What else you want to talk about? Shut up, everybody on game. Wisconsin. Go to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Wisconsin? Where mm -hmm. is that? Up north. I think it's like above or next to Ohio. If I'm not mistaken. Mm. But you know like up there like Midwest. Mm. Like north, mid. More, north, north, midwest. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Like kind of under Canada. But still that water a mm -hmm. little bit. That's not bad. Right. And cold winters, but cheap. Like the one bedroom can get as low as like seven fifty. Oof. And That's cheaper jobs. than Texas. Texas is like twelve. No chocolate for you. Mm -hmm. Texas is like thirteen hundred or like twelve hundred, maybe nine, the lowest. That's still not bad though. Mm -hmm. That's still not bad. That's right. cheaper than Jersey. Jersey, the lowest you really get is like maybe like eleven hundred. Mm-hmm. Eleven hundred. So the lowest for one. You're bed. lucky if you get eleven hundred. Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. be like real, real lucky. You gotta plug somebody. Yeah. Mm -mm. But definitely go up to eighteen hundred though. Mm -hmm. Almost two thousand to get heavy. My house, I pay like nineteen something, and this is three bedroom. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been here for like four years, so you know. And if I feel like we just moved in, they probably would have raised the rent a little bit, like a lot more actually, because everything is new around here, new hotels. New uh, arcades, restaurants, kosher restaurants, everything. So we just bring all the tourists down here. All the tourists that come up from New York to come down here. Like, we at the main little beach for no reason because we have no rides. It's very boring. This is the most honest opinion you'll get on YouTube because everyone lies. And everyone's like, it's so lit. We got nothing. Like, you know, Point Pleasant got rides and stuff. We got no rides. Oh, I'll show y'all the clips of what it used to look like in the 80s. I got, I found the community. Oh. This is a devastating fire. The amusement pier fill, filled with games and rides and what used to be a major seaside attraction is still burning tonight. Also, a major portion of the now famous boardwalk was also destroyed. Almost as quickly as it began, possibly in a fast food restaurant, the flames raced down through 13 stores on this wooden boardwalk. 
There was little anyone could do, not even the hundreds of firemen who desperately tried to save the adjacent amusement pier known as Kids World. Then they had to run for their lives. When just jumped it right. We had rides, you know, mm -hmm. once upon a time. And burned it down. Thank you, newsman. You know, you ever had the news people behind the camera like, that's my boyfriend back there. Like, you know, he just really on it. These great vibes, you know? Like, literally, like, six restaurants. Ten. Like, the most. And, like, I don't know. Very small. It's not what you think it is. And there's no parking. So, like, take a train if you want to come down here. Yeah. Just the car thing. It, be, it just be giving us traffic. We've had no streets to go down. But I'm not going to give you the street. Because it's the one street. No lights. And if y'all start hogging that street. Nope. Go. <laughs> I got to go. Mm -mm. Y'all could have j okay? Go down j We've had no streets to go down. Mm -hmm. All the tourists go down Stay in that one street. Don't spread out. Mm -mm. But the one thing about what's good about what's good about we may have seen very like dang this mad bad stuff going on, but what's good? Really nothing. My you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But. I like, we, we, we have a curse. <laughs> yeah, I started cropping in, because I'll be annoying because I've been jump, jump, jump. Right. I'm not even trying to be extra talking to somebody about this, which has its own, like, vibe and feeling. Like, it's very, very unique. Very unique. The feeling definitely has died down because, like, really running the scene like it used to. It used to be more lively a little bit. Not yeah. the best, but definitely more lively like it was popping like yeah. even at three o'clock in the morning it's popping now it's dead at like definitely what by 10 yeah 10 how dark is getting people going to house by four mm -hmm. and it november just started right it's definitely cold right now too it's getting cold like mm -hmm. quick mm -hmm. like it's switched in like like the next two days like i think two yeah, days it, it was staying warm it was staying warm for a good minute like okay weather like okay it's fine like this is just regular sweater weather that was bro like yeah we I didn't even get a fall my jacket right here as we speak like, our fall was like two weeks like the end of september and right. kind of like early october we had like maybe like a little month of fall now it's just brick <laughs> it's just brick <laughs> all the time that, uh, it's mad crazy and i was talking about that too yesterday it got dark at around 6.40, but today it got started um, getting dark around 4.40. Why did it just switch like that? Oh! In any other time? Daylight really... saving. Was yesterday. It was? <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> hold on. Yo, don't forget what Jayon said. That's just so far. I had to tell him, too. I get an extra hour of sleep. Like, something like that. Either extra hour or hour less. I had mad energy in the morning. I'm like... Why am I not tired? I was like, like, what? I'm so like, I was like, why am I not tired? Okay, okay, whatever. Y'all can have that. Or you like saving a thing a little, I don't know what it is. I really don't know. You know what? It's something. It's, it's a real day though. So, so. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. I hope we got a good video though. Man? We definitely got a good video. Mm -hmm. all right y'all we out this is the end of the video bye y'all thank you for watching you guys already know whatever time it is morning mm -hmm. night evening day whatever go Love ahead you. like subscribe yeah drop a comment what you think oh yeah y'all already know gabby is already in the mm -hmm. beginning of the video and mm -hmm. she's gonna be down below in this description so you already know to subscribe mm -hmm. and run her shit up period <laughs> Love y'all, thank you. Love y'all. Period. Give us some extra footage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that's nine minutes. Oh. <laughs> extra footage. <laughs> <laughs> Too long, y'all.